but you can do some crazy things by sending different signals. And you know, not only the 808 can go in, but I can show you an example with the guitar. Um, what I'll do is, is that that was really like, you know, kind of loud and, and aggressive sounds I was getting from the preamp of the 808. I mean, uh, from the 808 into the preamp. But I can make some smooth, nice sounds from the guitar. So what I'll do is I'll ask uh, my good friend Tay over here in the audience to come and uh, play a chord. So I'll plug you in. Oh, there's the 808. So what I'll do is here, I'll take it out from here. I'll give you a nice jack in. There we go. Oh. So now what I'll do is let me get some good sounds out of it. So keep playing. So that's the guitar going through the ARP 2600. It sounds incredible. And I can really crank it up, make it distorted. There it sounds. So that just sounds like, wow, already it sounds amazing. Can add the reverb to it. But now, since I'm putting it into the filter, all the things I was doing with the synth, like all the things I was doing with the 808, I can apply to him playing the guitar. So I'll show you one of my favorite tricks to do. It's kind of like a phasey, it's kind of like a phaser sound, and it's, it's pretty nice. So what I'll do is, is that I'll send a very slow sine wave from VCO2, that's normalized here, and it will slowly open and close the filter and make it sound really dreamy. So we want to keep playing some chords. Sounds incredible, you know? And that's just, you know, a tame thing I can do, but I can technically, you know, make it really crazy sounding and make it. And all that stuff. And then I can say, okay, well, I wanna make it even weirder. I wanna take this VCO and I'm gonna affect the rate of what's modulating the filter now. Maybe not the most pleasant, but. And I can even, you know, put it through a gate technically by, you know, taking the sample and hold, like I was showing you before, I can say, okay, well, I'm gonna take the clock from sample and hold, put it into the gate. Let me just. make a really choppy effect. Kind of sounds like a really quick Leslie or something. Put an audio right almost and it's like kind of fuzzy. Put a little attack on it. And I could do the same thing. I could take that and send it to a switch. I can take it, multiply the signal, put it back in here. Take the other signal, put it into A. Take the out of the filter, put it into B. And then take the out of C and put it to where put it into the input of the VCF, I mean the VCA. And then 
I can even, you know, if I don't want to have two sources of guitar, I can say, okay, well, I can take, instead of the other guitar while he's playing, I can send it some white noise. I want to be really harsh and drastic, you know? If I change the rate. I don't know why I would use that, but I could do it if I wanted. And that's just really cool about the switch. And I can just even keep it unplugged, and then you're gonna have, again, another kind of like, Leslie effect. Yeah. And that's, uh... Cool, and now I can show what I'm doing with the guitar to actually vocals, if you want to hear that. You want to do some vocals? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Let's do some vocals. So now, if I just unplug everything and restart again, out of the switch, all this stuff, I'm gonna hear a nice droney noise, or a filter, or an oscillator. But I can take that and plug into here. Perfect. If you want to grab the mic. You see that the connection might be intermittent. It's because I have to use this kind of cable. And this is actually really not a great cable for the art because you're going into these eighth inch jacks. And the PC board is pretty thin. And this is extremely heavy. So when you put it in a jack, it's actually kind of weighing down on it. And it can actually kind of break it. So you got to be very careful. I highly recommend getting eighth inch to quarter inch cables and if you could find eighth inch to XLR for mics. I don't know if they, they exist anymore, but I'm sure you can find them. So here, talking to the mic. Hello. How is everybody doing? So there we go. The R2600 is a fantastic piece of machinery. Keep going into it. Matt, you're a really great guy. Thank you. Your studio skills are unparalleled. Here we go. So what I can do... So I can take his... So what I can do with his voice, I can take that and I can send it... Um, I can, you know, frequency modulate it by putting something quick, so keep talking. Hello, how are we doing, everybody? I love Red Bull. It keeps me going. Don't drink it on an empty stomach. Hey, how are you? <laughs> so now, if I take that, I can put that voice into the malt again. I can send it into the filter where I was doing all those sounds. Send the dry one again to the switch. Send this one to the switch, and I can go really quickly between them, and you'll get a really nice effect. So I'll show you. So give me a little, uh, say something nice. Hey man, how's it going? Alright. Where's Richard? Where's Richard? Is that what you're asking? Yes. So now I'm taking, I'll take the uh, output, put it into the, over here. Good evening. I'm Francis. I wear hats a lot. Is Francis here? I don't think so. So now I'm modulating him between his regular vocals and then the filtered vocals into the switch at a really high rate. So when you talk... Hello, everybody. Welcome to the presentation of the R2600, the most fantastic bit of kit Red Bull has so far invested in. What a machine. How heavy is it? It's like a... It's not that heavy, but it's funny. When I carry it in its suitcase, I feel like I have a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> and I feel like that guy. But it's, it's you know... It's an ARP inside, so it's really cool. But if you keep talking, you see... Hello, welcome to this nice modulated version of my voice. How delightful. What a nice 808 of love. Hello. That's cool. The sofa is a really wonderful hue of blue. Yeah. So that's yes. all the things you can do with the ARP, with the voice. And you could do more. I'm, I'm, I'm just showing you one part of it, but I can take it and I can put it into the ring mod. Oh, you know what? I can show you the, the envelope follower because it should work now. So now you might, let's just do this quick. So we're hearing a nice tone. 
And I'm gonna use Tay's voice. It's already wired up. Use the output, I'm gonna try to control the pitch and see if I can get it going. So, VCO2. Keep talking. Hey. Oh. There uh, you go. You get a little bit of the, of the pitch to voltage. It's kind of hard to tame. Keep talking. Keep talking. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Who is not best asleep. These are just some things you can do, and once you find an application, that was really loud, I'm sorry. With the vocals and that, you can do some pretty, pretty cool things.